This is Investor Ideas at Money 2020 2016 in Las Vegas. This panel session features identity in the blockchain with Civic. Civic.com is an identity platform designed to give its members direct control over the use of their identity. Global digital identity platform. And uh, the first product we launched was just basic identity theft protection for consumers. So free credit bureau monitoring uh, and alerts. Um, getting 24-7 you know, support and a million dollars um, ID theft insurance for life for all our members. And uh, it, we, you know, there's a lot of success with that product, a lot of users are using it and enjoying the alerts they're getting. And today we're going to announce and launch something a little different and uh, adjacent to what, what our, our vision is and I, I'd like to tell you about it. So when we look at identity, we think that you know, the world we're in today with digital uh, you know, the digital processes, online purchasing, mobile, is, is, is just very much um, not connected to the offline world right now when, when it comes to, you, know, you can't show your driver's license online, you can't use your passport uh, digitally, etc. So there's a whole bunch of digital needs that's not being filled by the current offline processes. And so our goal is to digitize those documents and create a real secure digital ID on your device. And if you think about it, if, if one company in the world came to you and said, we're going to take everyone's ID information, we're going to digitize it, we're going to store it in one big database, it's probably the worst idea you've ever heard, right? We've seen how many data breaches and hack, hack, hacks happen on a regular basis, and so our goal is actually not to do that. Our goal is to take the information and put it on your device and create the network where the information just flows between devices and endpoints. And so we're creating a decentralized model. We can't get hackers. We're not storing your personal, your PI, personal identifiable information. And uh, we'd like to show you a demo of what we think is, it's kind of geeky, but it's the, the next evolution in, in where we think this ID is going. We've also used, we've used the blockchain for this because we had a couple of goals when designing this product. We need to make sure that it wasn't proprietary in any way, and we need to make sure that the IDs were issued and, and, set it, and, and validated and verified against were revocable. So if for some reason in the chain we realized that a fake ID or fake driver's license was submitted, we need to revoke the digital version of that and we need to make sure that we don't store your data. Uh, that, that was one of the critical design elements for our platform. Our product with one of our partners, which we're, we're working with right now, called Ride Connect. They're tackling a very interesting problem. As many of you may be aware, in Texas, uh, the traditional ride sharing services are not quite playing, you know, with the, with the, playing nicely with the rules and the laws in Texas. So they come up with a, a pretty much a different model where they allow communities to form around ride sharing but they still need to provide ID verification services. And, and so they need to know who are these people you know, taking other people around. You just have a simple sign on the Civic and what it does is it takes you straight to the app, to our Civic app, scan your fingerprint to log in. We'll be introducing things like face recognition and various other biometrics. And it asks you what you want to share. And the important thing is you will be able to control what you share with certain sites as you see fit. And also this data is not going between Civic um, in the way that you would, for example, with Facebook Connect, we are never in the middle of this transaction. This is, a, this is purely between you and the other company. And you simply bypass any um, requirements for form filling. And the beauty is they're actually getting verified information. They know that somebody has actually verified all this data that they're getting, so they don't need to worry about this being a bot or any other problem. And, and because they're very community focused, you can go into your community now and you can see who is actually verified by Civic and, and decide that you want to trust those individuals. So that's an app to app. I mean, that was about as simple as you get for creating a brand new account and getting a fully verified account on a, on a third party app. So.